Hello, in this video I want to show you a way of fame farming while playing solo. This will be doing group dungeons only by yourself. I will show you a build which I will use and then I will discuss some things while doing group dungeons. With that being said, let's get to the point. So, when it comes to build, the build is pretty easy. Uh, if it comes to bug, uh, I think usual bug uh, is enough if you want to get more fame. You can buy Sagal of Inside and turn it on, but I wouldn't recommend you that because it will take a lot of silver and in my opinion it's not worth it to use Sagal to uh, get like 30, uh, like 43% uh, more of fame. So I would recommend you just use uh, usual bag. Uh, on the head, uh, I'm using Scholar Coal for energy because when you're doing uh, solo or group dungeons, uh, energy is always useful. So I would recommend you to uh, buy this item. Uh, when it comes to cape, I have bought 8.3 Tedford Cape, but if you uh, don't want to spend more money on Cape, I think you can buy even some 5.3 Tedford Cape and it will be totally fine. Uh, when it comes to main weapon, it's a hand of uh, car. Uh, this uh, Great Axe Tier 8. Uh, and I'm using that because of the uh, skill that can attack a lot of enemies because in the uh, when uh, I will solo group dungeons I will lure a lot of mobs in one place so uh, skills which can handle a lot of mobs uh, will be very useful uh, I'm using Helen jacket with the lifesteal aura to get my health back if I would be too low. So this jacket will be very useful while uh, doing group dungeons solo. Uh, I'm using guardian boots with the giant skill uh, because if uh, you will lack, if uh, you wouldn't have uh, your scholar call for magic resistance or for armor, if you wouldn't have your hellion jacket to uh, get back your health from mobs. There are always guardian boots, so you, you will live longer. Uh, you probably shouldn't die if you use guardian boots. Uh, when it comes to food, I would recommend you using roast pork because this gives you uh, a, a health stealing uh, of 10%. Uh, you can buy some better fruit like 7.1 or 7.2 but in my opinion 7.2 isn't worth it like 7.0 or 7.1 food uh, will be very good for that i would recommend you to get some uh, tier 4 po uh, poison potions with you to kill the bosses faster so uh, you won't have to spend that much time to kill a single boss uh, the poison potions will help you a lot. Uh, mount is up to you, it's actually don't make any difference what mount you will use. And this set is set for boss. I'm using a dagger because of the E ability, the blood thirsty blade. Uh, when you're using it, uh, it will uh, give you uh, health regen, so that's why I'm using it. Uh, in the boss set, I'm using Torch as well uh, because of the uh, cooldown modifier and attack speed bonus, so I can uh, attack with my dagger faster. I got a masterpiece quality because I'm using these items in HC, but you can easily buy like 8.3 usual quality items and they will be fine as well, so you don't have to buy masterpiece items. And uh, for special bosses, I got Mercenary Jacket with Bloodlust to get my health back as well. Uh, and when it comes to build, that's all. Now we can go uh, start doing our group dungeons. As you can see here, I'm getting faction flagged. 
to get faction points while doing group dungeon because that's like an uh, like free money it's like additional silver that I can make while uh, doing solo group dungeons uh, and as you can see I'm popping a tier 4 uh, dungeon map it's a group map of course uh, and I'm doing a tier 4 because it's the most efficient uh, group dungeon from all of the group dungeons available on the market uh, here you can see how I'm dealing with mobs. I'm just luring them. One, uh, I'm just luring them in one place, uh, and I'm using my combo. I'm using Q, then I'm using my W, and then my E because uh, if I'm using my combo like that, uh, my damage is uh, the highest possible. Uh, if I'm low on health, I'm just using. Uh, my jacket, my Hellion jacket to get back my my health. Here it's the same thing, I'm using my Q, my W and my E uh, to kill the mobs as fast as is it possible. Uh, I'm not sure if I am even have to uh, use my Guardian boots because they are getting killed very very fast. Uh, this lore is very interesting because here uh, we got a healer, we got a mob that heals the other mobs. So even uh, if there's a healer that uh, helps other mobs to live longer, it's not even a problem for us because our sustain, our uh, ability of getting our health back by uh, our food, by our jacket, by using uh, guardian boots, it's just a no problem for us, so we can go very easy with that. Well, by doing this lure, you will exactly see what do I mean uh, by saying that you uh, need stack all of the mobs in one place? As you can see here, I'm just getting aggro on all of the mobs, I'm getting them in one place and I'm using my usual combo and it's a very simple way to kill uh, the mobs in a group dungeon. There is only like one mob left, the, the strongest mob uh, from all of the mobs from uh, this lure but again it's a no problem for me to kill this mob with this set that I'm using. And now we are uh, on the boss right now, it's the last boss. I'm switching to my boss gear, to my dagger and torch. Uh, I'm also switching my passives so I can get my cooldowns faster. I think it it can be very useful thing that uh, when you can get your cooldowns faster while doing boss. Uh, I don't even have to wait for my giant because I think it uh, even won't be useful while doing this boss. Uh, I'm just spamming my Q, sometimes I'm using my W and when I'm low on health I'm, I will just use my E because that's why I'm playing dagger. Uh, a one-handed dagger. As you can see, we, I'm playing with torch and by playing with torch I'm able to auto-attack as fast as is it possible. Uh, this boss goes pretty well. It, uh, it's not even making a lot of damage to me, so I'm not even afraid I will die while, while doing this boss. Uh, and when it comes to dying, you uh, have to have in mind that your set is 8.3. So I wouldn't recommend you to get some risky lures when you, where uh, you think you can die. Because if you will die with this couple of 8.3 items, the reaper costs will be very fast. This build costs like 10 million silver. Uh, with all these swaps it will be like probably 12 million silver 
So the repair cost of one dead will be probably like 100 silver. So I wouldn't recommend you uh, picking some risky lures where uh, you can die. Just if you're afraid you will die, don't take the lures, don't take the lures, just skip the mobs. Uh, as you can see, it went pretty easy on boss. It took me like one minute. The whole dungeon took me like 30 minutes. Uh, I made like 150 fame from only this dungeon and it goes pretty well. The loot from chest isn't the best because it just uh, tier 4 map, so it isn't a big deal. But as you can see, it goes pretty easy with this build that I'm showing you right now. And this is all in this video. I hope you enjoyed the video and you have learned something useful. You can type in the comment what do you think of this way of fey farming. Uh, you can type in comment uh, what would you want to see on my channel, uh, which thing I can discuss more. Uh, and that's all from me. See you in the next one. Bye.